I told you so. I told you that this would be made into a drama. Hello and welcome to my channel. Now today, in this vlog, we are in Mythamroyd and I'm making my way up to Erringdon Moor. It's gonna be a nice little walk. It might rain, we might have to get the GoPro out. We're on a different camera. What camera are we on? But today's vlog is all about me doing a bit of uh, I told you so. I'm not really one to say I told you so. That's what this vlog's about though. So there is a chance we might see some deer today. So I might be talking quiet in some parts of this vlog. It's always a bit of a dilemma when you're doing a vlog and you think there's some wildlife about. Which one do you do, stay quiet? Or, yeah, you want me to stay quiet, don't you? Well, I'm not gonna. The reason I am here today, I've done a vlog here before, and it was all about the uh, Cragvale coiners. Cragvale is over this way, just runs up the side of this woodland as we head towards Erringdon Moor. Now, I'll put a link to that vlog in the description below and you can have a look at that. But this vlog is sort of like revisiting it because it's all about the Cragvale coiners. Now, the Cragvale coiners were a ruthless gang of counterfeiters that uh, shaved the edges off the gold coins back then. We're going back to the 17 and 1800s here. Uh, they, shaved the, um, they shaved the edges, they filed them off of the gold coins and with the, uh, with the shavings they made new coins. So uh, that's what they were about. Now it's an amazing story and uh, you need to read the book that is called The Gallows Pole. Now I will of course leave a link in the description below of The Gallows Pole, the book. And you can get that uh, on Amazon, you can get it digitally as well. It's a great story and uh, that is the reason that I have returned because, like I say, I told you so. <laughs> I, think, I think the noises that I'm hearing are actually squirrels like five of them jumping out of a tree and bounding along through the leaves. But uh, sometimes it sounds a lot heavier than that, so I am on the lookout for deer. But the chances are slim now because the, uh, the leaves are so dry. But it's nice to see the autumn on the way. The summer sun is fading as the year grows old. Darker days are, oh, it's a song, isn't it? Yeah, I thought, I'd, I, thought I was saying something really profound then. <laughs> now when I tell you that I told you so, I know you know what the topic is by the title. But uh, yes, I did tell you so. In that vlog, and please have a look at that vlog, it tells you a little bit more about the story. Um, I am saying that the story of the Cragvale coiners needs to be picked up by someone and made into a movie. Well, they are dramatising it. The BBC are filming right now. And wouldn't it be great when we get up onto Erringdon Moor near Bell House? That's where the King David Hartley actually lived. Uh, the guy that was uh, the mastermind of it all. Um, that's where he lived. Wouldn't it be great if when we get up there, there's a film crew there? Now, <laughs> now don't be thinking that I already know something. I don't. <laughs> But they are dramatising it. The BBC are making it into a drama. Uh, they are filming right now. The, you can find the cast online. Just do a little uh, Google search for the Gallows Pole BBC production. So it's going to be really exciting to see what they make of it. Now, isn't this the best 1080p footage you have ever seen? What camera is he using? Now through this gate and up that little path there, it opens up onto Erringdon Moor. That's where we're going to go and we're going to head towards Bell House. That's where King David Hartley lived. I hope it's not going to rain up there. It is very exposed. Now the uh, Bell House there, the last time I came here, I was fortunate enough to meet the guy that is living there right now and he invited me in for a look around. So like I say, it's worth looking at that vlog and I will put it in the description below. And this uh, story is being dramatized by the BBC and I'm so excited. I'm getting some messages uh, on that vlog and it's quite an old vlog. I'm getting messages now saying, wow, they are actually uh, making it into a drama. I'd be so excited to, uh, to get backstage sort of thing uh, to uh, to meet some of the cast as they're filming it I'd really I'd really like that do another extra little vlog for you lot but uh, I don't think that's going to happen but I thought I would just revisit this area and uh, just remind people of the vlog that I did and that I told you so I told you that this would be made into a drama wow it really does open up here on Erringdon Moor and what a view 
Amazing view. I like to bring you these views. And uh, looking down on King David Hartley's kingdom, that is uh, Mythamroyd down there. And uh, that's where the currency went back to and out into the population. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you too much about the story. I want you to uh, look it up yourself. And uh, I would advise you to, uh, to look at the book, The Gallows Pole. Uh, but do look at my little vlog as well. Now, the uh, bell house where King David Hartley lived is just over them bushes there. Let me just take you to the side a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's where I should have been. <laughs> you can see it just through them bushes there. I'm going to take you over there. We'll have a little bit of a nosy around. But uh, yeah, amazing views, amazing views out there. And uh, amazing uh, camera footage, amazing 1080p. The best 1080p footage you have ever seen. So what camera am I using? Maybe I will tell you in this vlog, but uh, I am trialing out a few different cameras. Okay, so that is Bell House behind me, where King David Hartley lived and uh, ran his uh, gang of villains and uh, counterfeited the coins. That's where all the smelting was done. And uh, I have had a look around inside. And if you want to have a look around inside, look at that previous vlog that I did uh, when I did get invited in. Now, it's new owners now and uh, they weren't too keen on me uh, filming around here, so I'm going to keep this shot. In fact, I'm going to go now. But uh, thankfully, they did let me uh, do a little bit of filming, and this is it. So that's Bell House. I'm going to make my way back down now. I might go a little bit of a different way down, uh, but it was surprising how I was protected by the wood on the way up. The woodland was so protective, it's quite chilly now up here, but still a lovely day. I watched the birds fly south across the autumn sky. I wish that I was flying with... I've done this song. I've done this song. <laughs> it looks like a warm day here on Erringdon Moor, but it's actually quite chilly. So I'm going to be taking the woodland back, which is down there through Bell Hole Wood. That's what it's called. And I'll have a chat to you on the way back. Okay, so I'm just leaving Bell Hole Wood here. I've enjoyed the walk. Hope you have too. Just revisiting a vlog that I previously did on the Cragvale Coiners. And... The BBC are making it into a drama. That's going to be really interesting, really exciting for me because uh, I'm getting some nice messages on that vlog, uh, just recognising that, yes, I did tell you so. And I just want to say before I go, thank you for your continued uh, comments. They're great on the West Highland Way. Me and my last recently did the West Highland Way, if you don't already know that. So you can have a look at them vlogs if you are a new viewer and you want to just catch up on a few things that you've been missing out on, maybe. <laughs> I did the West Highland Way with my last and I carried a heavy bag. Do you know how heavy the bag was? <sighs> I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Until the next one, bye.